towards Lebanon for the last more than week now Netanyahu has been leading a country that's been carrying out terrorist attacks against Lebanon where I live uh, and this week it culminated in a carpet bombing campaign indiscriminately that killed over 500 Lebanese people mostly in their homes or trying to flee their homes and it's continued since and this war is expanding it's completely armed by the US Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are as complicit and terroristic as Benjamin Netanyahu. The only way to end this genocide, if Biden really wants a ceasefire like he says, if Harris really wants a ceasefire like he says, he would end the constant supply of bombs, missiles, bullets being used to massacre Palestinians. That's the only way to end this genocide if the U.S. stops supplying the weaponry that makes it possible. So that's what we're out here to demand. In addition to the arrest of Netanyahu, we want the U.S. government to stop making this genocide possible. We are here not just to protest the war criminal Netanyahu, but we are here to give the United Nations a message from the people of New York. We demand Israel be expelled immediately from the United Nations. We demand the Security Council place immediate sanctions on Israel now. We demand that war criminals like Netanyahu and Joe Biden get brought to the Hague. There are a hundred thousand fighters in Lebanon who have made it clear that should Israeli forces come into Lebanon, it will be their graveyard. What is Netanyahu doing in order to save his own skin? He's willing to take Israel to a war in Lebanon that it will lose. He's willing to commit a genocide in Gaza, and even though he has succeeded in killing so many people, he has not succeeded in wiping out the Palestinian resistance. And why? Because it cannot be wiped out. That's why Palestine and Lebanon will win. We're here today because the war criminal Netanyahu has showed up to New York City. And we're here to tell him that he's not welcome here. He's not welcome in our city. He's not welcome in this country. He's not welcome in any country. He should be at The Hague being tried for war crimes. I'm a 17 year army veteran and I'm here to stand in solidarity with the Palestinians because American tax dollars are funding a genocide. We need an arms embargo. Stop sending money and weapons to Israel. Stop the genocide. Ceasefire now.